In this video, we will discuss an overview of Civil 3D Points. Civil 3D Points can be used to develop surfaces, alignments, coordinate geometry, and other types of design data in Civil 3D. Each point is uniquely numbered and has properties such as northing, easting, elevation, and description. In addition to these properties, a point, as with all Civil 3D objects, must have a point style and a label style associated to it that control the point's layer, appearance, and annotation. Points, of course, can be either imported or created in Civil 3D manually. If we zoom in here and hover over the point, you'll notice a nice little tooltip that appears that tells you that point's number, the style it's using, the layer it's on, and so on. Points live in the Prospector tab in the Points category. As you can see in the preview pane, you can access all the points right here as well. As with everything in Civil 3D, there are styles and settings you need to be aware of to make sure the objects come into your drawing correctly. We have a point category, and as you can see here, we have a point styles category that defines the actual layer, block, and symbol that should be used for the point style. So for instance, if we go ahead and open up this tree coniferous point style, you'll see that it's telling Civil 3D what block to use in this section here, what to do with the 3D geometry, and what layer each of the different parts of the point should go on in the plan, model, profile, and section view. And of course, what visibility state they should have. You of course have label styles that control what types of labels should be applied to your Civil 3D point as well. Don't forget that there are also feature and command settings unique to the actual objects themselves. If you right click on point and go to edit feature settings, you'll see that there are some default styles, a default name format, and what to do with points as far as updating them. And of course you have command settings. So for any of the commands used to create points, if you want to actually control the default settings when you create the actual point, such as what layer to use and how you want to be prompted, this is where you would actually define those settings.